Hey everyone, Techni here with a review of the newly released Game & Mouse by HK Gaming, the Naos M. Now real quick before we dive into this review, I just want to be clear with you guys. This is a pre-production unit right here, but again, we're still going to dive into it, tear it apart and really talk about it. But again, anything that we talk about, if it's fixed down the road, is just going to be icing on the cake. And I know there's a few questions on your mind. Number one being, is it an S2 clone? As you, I have the S1 right here. But anyways, same difference. I have used the uh, S2 before. And also what we are going to talk about is how does it stack up to HK Gaming's first mouse, the Mira M. So first off inside your box you can get a quick start guide, some warranty info, some grips for one and two, and then your sides, and then some replacement feet, and then of course you're going to get your mouse with a dust cover. So number one, what I think the majority of us are curious about here is the shape, dimensions, and the weight. And again, kind of rolling right into that Zowie. Is it an S2 clone? So anyways, I'm going to pull up the dimensions right here, and I also want to pull up the S2 dimensions. And as you can see, they're pretty Pretty darn similar, almost spot on. Now real quick, um, some of you may know, some of you may not. As far as Zowie mice, their dimensions, as far as length, they also count that little nub at the front right there, as far as where the cable comes out. So again, as far as base length of like where the buttons stop, you gotta reduce that little bit. So when you take the length and reduce that bit right there, they're pretty much a spitting image. Now the only dimension I get that's a little bit different is the grip width right there. As you see where it's around 64, they're talking about tail width. When we come over to grip width, I get a little bit smaller on the Naos here than what it's stating on Zowie. I'm not too sure where Zowie's measuring from. Is it from the bottom, the top, or the mid, as far as a mid grip width right there. But again, I get a little bit different. Now touching on the dimensions of the Naos M right here. Again, exact spitting image of the S2 pretty much, right? Those small variances are just so stinking minute, you know? But when I get this in my hand, clear as day, claw grip. That's what it is. It's, it's a relaxed claw, you know what I mean? Or I can bring it into a fingertip. As far as palm, like I can bring it into a palm, but it's not a very comfortable palm. Again, the hump's towards the back right here, so it catches in your palm, and then the rest of your hand is just kind of open up there, and then you kind of get into that claw automatically, you know? You can fingertip it as well. I'd put it at small to medium. Too small for me. As you saw in the beginning, I like the Zowie S1, the bigger one. I like palm grip. I like something to really fill out my hand for that control. So I'd put this as primary claw, relaxed claw, but again, you can fingertip it. Smaller hands, then you'd be able to get a palm. Now, as far as weight, it states 59 grams on the box. On multiple of my postal scales, I get 64 grams. So I believe the on-box weight is without the cable. Now, next up, and you all know most importantly to me, is the durability and quality of the mouse or any product right here. I don't know why I get so much slack for liking a quality, durable product. You know, people say, oh, who presses it like that? Who presses it there? You know what I do, you know what I mean? Like you go test drive a car, you test everything out. You know, you want a durable product. I don't know why I catch slack on it. Anyways, grip test and stress test on this guy, pressing up at the front, nothing. Sides, hey, 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 let's try that again. Sides, nothing. Back, tail end, nothing. Let's press the bottom here. Now if I press hard enough, I can get it to flex, but I'm pressing incredibly hard here, nothing. No DPI activation or anything. Very solid build across the whole mouse. All right, so right in line with the build, I wanna talk about the buttons here. Number one, the side buttons, they're the exact same as the Zowie S1, S2 right there. And let me tell you what, they are incredibly crispy and just straight right to the point. Not much give or anything, very nice. But now coming up to one and two up here. This is probably the one flaw with this mouse here. No pre-travel, look at them, bam, and they click and activate. Omron 20Ms, by the way, but check out that post travel. Whew. I mean, there is a bunch right there. Now, if you lean into them, you can actually move one and two, or if you press it on the side, you can see a bow out there, and then on the inside. But again, just basic press right in the middle. I mean, they activate instantly, no pre-travel, but that post, whew, there is a bunch. So I hope that is fixed. And again, the mass uh, produced versions right there. Now the other thing, personal preference right here is a scroll wheel. If you look at it dead on, you can see it kind of come up there and kind of come to a point at the top, you know what I mean? I wish it was not even a little more low profile, but again, just flatter as far as that rubber bit there. And you can see whenever I peel the rubber back, the scroll wheel's right down there. I mean, it is flat. So the only thing causing that big hump right there is the rubber bit on it. It's not actually the scroll wheel itself. And I was told that that will be changed in the upcoming production versions.
Now, as far as the cable, it's passable, not the best, but it is good. Fairly uh, thin and lightweight, but maybe a little bit tight. If you see I can bend it, it'll hold a position right there. Again, after a little bit of breaking time, it does get a lot better than straight out the box. By the way, it is USB gold plated here. So as far as the cable, the closest thing I can really compare it to is it feels like a spitting image of the Viper cable. That's the closest thing I can get to. If you use the Mirror M, the HK Gaming Mirror M, which I might be jumping ahead right here, it feels pretty much just like that, but a lot thinner. So again, that's probably the best comparison as far as like stiffness and flexibility. That's what the cable feels like, but thinner. Now, as far as underneath the mouse right here, you have very big rounded PTFE feet, the exact same dimensions of the Zowie S1, S2. And if you're curious, the core pads for the S1 fit perfectly on this if you wanted to get some replacements. As you can see, the feet aren't super thick, but I didn't have any drag or anything whenever using it. They worked fantastic, again, with them being so big. You have your LED, which you can cycle through a few effects, and then some solids right there. Then you have your DPI button. DPI adjusts in 400, 800, 1600, 3200, 6400, and then 12,000. And we are using a 3360 sensor. Now bringing all that together right there with the 3360, the feet, the buttons, and everything like that, as far as my time actually using it i had a great time using it. i mean the zowie s2 s1 are fantastic just very popular great shapes you know what i mean and that's what i had right here now again going back to s2 like it was just too small for me and that's where this sits for me it's too small again with that hump being towards the back and then it just flattens out it, it's not my grip style you know so that's what i do with the s2 or even a little bit with the s1 like again it puts me in that claw a little bit of fingertip here but i always catch myself trying to palm it you know what i mean since that humps towards the back so I always caught myself putting it into the back of my hand. I was like, all right, now this is just awkward, you know? So again, it bring me right back into that claw. But as far as basic performance playing Call of Duty, a lot of Insurgency Sandstorm, great performance spot on right there. If there's the one thing I would complain about, again, scroll wheel, personal preference. You know, I'd like it flatter right there. The one thing I want to see changed in, again, the mass produced ones, are the buttons one and two. Those things need to be fixed. All right, so let's wrap this up right here and get our conclusion. And this is where I wanna pull out the HK Gaming, Mira M, and then the Zowie S1 or S2, whichever. Right? Again, this is the S2 shape, 100% right here. So why I pulled both of these mice out here is where I wanna start is the price of the Naos M. This guy's gonna come in at 70 bucks. That's a heavy price tag in my opinion right there. And why I say it's a heavy price tag, not saying it's a bad product. Again, we're taking this as a pre-production, right? So let's let's say the buttons are fixed, the scroll is fixed, and it's absolutely perfect. Still, let's look at it at 70 bucks. You have a massive market to compete with. XM1, the Viper, the Mira M, and all the Zowie mice, you know what I mean? Now, I know Zowie gets a lot of slack for their cable and their weight. Me personally, I like heavier mice. You know, I, I, I can lift up 90 grams without, uh, you know, pulling my arm muscle. Maybe it's just me, you know? So, uh, but again, you got the options over here as far as multiple different shapes. Coming over to the Mira M. I stink and love this mouse. G Pro wireless shape right here. 50 bucks. Heck, you can scoop the Mira M up for like 40 bucks these days, you know what I mean? And as far as quality, it's stinking solid. Again, it's G Pro wireless. We all know that's a fantastic mouse, you know what I mean? great mouse over there and we look at that 40 or 50 bucks coming over here and you talk 70 bucks i'm just trying to find where is the 70 bucks again it's a great mouse it's a fantastic mouse right it's the s2 but lighter that's exactly what it is you know minus button one and two that need to be fixed so 70 bucks where i put this mouse right here is for s2 fans zowie s2 fans i don't think at 70 bucks this is like hey just go get this mouse try this mouse out and get it 70 bucks, you have to be a lover of the S2, and that's what's gonna justify that 70 bucks for you. Again, going back to the Mirror M, I recommend this mouse all day long. You know, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, whatever, 50 bucks, hey, get it, try it out. You know, it's a great mouse. You can't go wrong with the shape, you know? 70 bucks, it has to be something that you know you're gonna love. And if you love the Zowie S2 shape, you're gonna love this. So all in all, a very nice mouse right here. I think it definitely caters toward a certain crowd, the S2 lovers, but again, I really like it. A couple things I would really like to see, again, button one and two being fixed, and then the price being dropped. But heck, I'd like to see the price dropped on everything. You know what I mean? But anyways, I hope I helped you out if you were looking at this mouse right here. If you got any other questions, definitely ask down in the comments or hit me up on Twitter. Definitely more than glad to talk shop, send you some extra pictures if you wanna see a closer pics of it or whatever like that. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.